This tutorial covers challenge 3, Half Moon and the FTC Simulator. If you ever need a refresher on the steps, you can click the green logic board button at the top and then click guide to help yourself navigate. Hello everyone, my name is Tunis from Youth Culture and we'll be working with the FTC Sim Movement lesson today. And we also have Costa here who will be working with us with the simulator. Hi everyone, my name is Costa, as Tunis said, and I'll be running through the tutorial with you guys. So first we'll click the green logic board button on the left and before we select and add a block, it's important to click the zoom button on the right side of the logic board for better viewing. Now onto the blocks. On our left side, we'll start by clicking actuators, then DC motor, and then dual. We will then select and drag the first motor block and bring it to our logic board. We can now attach this block right under our purple simulator block. So our objective here is to have the robot turn rightwards towards the flag. And to do this, we'll set the left motor value to negative one. And since we're moving in a rightwards direction, we can set the right motor value to a number less than one, such as 0.5. Now let's click the run button to see what happens. Perfect, so now we've completed challenge three. So just to add one more thing, you should click save at the end of your challenge to make sure that your code is saved. For challenge three, our objective was to make the robot make a turn rightwards to reach the flag. For this challenge, we need to add only one movement block to the logic board. The numbers we used were negative one for the left motor and 0.5 for the right motor. One of the things I learned is that if I want the robot to turn the number needs to be slightly less than one for the right motor. If we turn left, we would need to make the number for the left motor slightly less than one as well. Thank you everyone for tuning in and hope you learned something useful.